Hey everyone, uh, today I'll tell you how I use uh, Crack Map Exec as a penetration tester in my day-to-day -day life. It's mostly used to attack Windows and Active Directory networks. Uh, one of the first things I do with it is you can do uh, Windows animation with it. Uh, this is the game of Active uh, GOAD, the game of Active Directory. I'll link to it in the description, so you can self-host yourself, uh, uh, well, um, a vulnerable Active Directory environment. This is just for showcase. But Crack Map Exec give us uh, a list of like the IP, uh, the domain, the name of the machine, which is even if there's a SMB signing. This is mostly true if it's a domain controller. Uh, but it's not exclusive. But if, if if it's a domain controller, you can verify with uh, checking if the um, port 88 is open. This is Kerberos. So yeah, that's the first thing. One of uh, the other things you can do is to check for SMB null session. You can do so by just uh, getting it uh, empty. So uh, in this laboratory, you can see that there's three um, even if it says access denied, it's just because you don't have access to, uh, like, initiate the thing, the full session. Um, so yeah, the, the plus sign means the login was successful. So if you have a user in Active Directory, you can do a lot of, well, attacks and enumeration by default. Um, one of the first thing you can do is to get the list of all the users in the domain. It's a really interesting and helpful if as an ethical hacker or someone who wants to uh, get some information about the domain. Uh, here you can see that you have all the, li the list of the people in the domain. Um, well, this is not in, in scope for Crack Map Exec, but um, you can see here sometimes a system administrator put sensitive information in the description of the user. But this is public information. As you can see here, I see that well, sometimes an engagement. So let's check if it works. Uh, because the other uh, modules that I use will be uh, needing a successful authentication, maybe even with some privilege. Also. So you can see the account, the, the account works. Uh, well, we would be able to still enumerate the user because it's a valid account. Another quick tip that I use when uh, I use Crack Map Exec. Uh, let's say you do a full reconnaissance uh, in a slash 24. You'll just have a couple, a couple of IPs. So you don't need to scan the whole network uh, again and again. You can just make a list of the IP in a file, and you can just point crack map exec to that file. See, much more fast, much more faster and less noisy. A lot more fast and less noisy. Also, when you have uh, your first account compromise, usually it's the other way around. You do you brute force first and uh, like do password spraying to get an idea of the password policy. But once you get an access, any access would work. There's a lot of things in the Active Directory that a single user, a domain user with no privileges can do. One of these examples is to get the password policy. So in this case, you can see that like the minimum password limit is five. So most users in the real world try to, well, not try to, but tend to use the minimum password length. So if it's six, it's eight, it's seven, you can pretty much guess. A good guess to password would be either the name of the company or passwords that you can look up on either old breaches on the have I been found 
basically you can use your imagination but uh, if you suppose that the company um, force password change every three months the season would be a good way to do it if they do it every month it would be the well the month so october 2022 or 2023 or whatever these are good guess but uh, this is uh, mostly an attack in active victory so another thing you can do with the crack map exec that's really useful is the password policy another one of these things would be to enumerate shares so uh, in active directory you can well so here you just well i just saw that uh, on bravos you have a read write access with the share all so any user well i i, I inferred that any user because of the name of the share but my current logged in users see samuel tarley can read and write in that share uh, print it because mostly of the well uh, printer driver so that's normal I, I don't think i ever saw private information in that but the all share would be interesting to see so here's another way that i use uh, crackmapxic a lot uh, when you get when you have a, an admin account you can check the dash dash lockdown users to see uh, what's interactive session there is on the machine uh, the reason this is interesting is uh, I'll do another video on this but you can steal the credentials of the people inside the machine with Mimikatz or other uh, hacking methods uh, another way that really helped me a lot to gather credentials when you have admin let's say you have your workstation admin and you want to try to gather more credentials because you only have access to the workstations you can do dash dash LSA LSA stands for local security authority and um, it is used to store maybe for a schedule task and stuff like that but you can retrieve uh, some of the time the password in clear text uh, furthermore what's interesting is the way crack map exec does it is it use the remote registry so this is a, a read in the registry keys so let's say the uh, target machine has an EDR, an antivirus or something like that uh, it's rare that they check for read in um, registry keys because just of the sheer volume of logs so sometimes this will pass under the radar and this can give you some credentials so it's really interesting uh, another way that I use it is for to, uh, to get the SAM so here we just got the local hash of uh, well in the SAM of the administrator account. I want to show you a technique known as pass the hash. Uh, well, dash U for the user, dash H capital H for the hash, the Intelem hash. That's why you get the right side of the complete uh, hash. The left side is the LM. And uh, we need to specify our domain dash d dot means local so in this case we'll be able to see that we are successfully authenticated as administrator and we have a pound so once you have the security account manager hashes you can do a technique known as pass the hash uh, that's really interesting because you don't need to know the clear text of the password to be able to use it in this example it's local admin uh, it's administrator what's really interesting about this is uh, well you know it works on the 1.4 104 but let's say the sysadmin has well yeah uh, it, they have the same password on two different boxes this is a really interesting technique to perform lateral movement because if the company doesn't have labs uh, local admin password solution from uh, Microsoft uh, most of the time they have the same password so even if, they, if it's a really really strong password I really don't need to know the plain text of the NTLM I can just use it and to get access also the reason this, this works uh, there's two ways to try and prevent this but you can prevent the login from the network because if it's a server I really doubt that you need to have a well, sysadmin to log in uh, locally on the machine via the, net the network because it's going to be bound to the active directory and you will you will rarely rarely lose access to the server uh, 
Um, but also, uh, this is because the, the reason it works is because of the remote you, user access control tries to prevent it. But the reason you have a pound in TrackMap Exec is because you have a high integrity token, meaning you can do remote, uh, you can do remotely admin task. But uh, let's say I create a local admin account and I do the same thing, it won't work. The only reason it works is because if the, it's the RID 500 and this bypass the remote UAC. Um, you can also configure it for it, but usually you cannot gain a highly an admin token via the network um, because of this protection. So if they have the same, well, you can do the same thing with 100.5, get more accounts. And you can do that uh, dance over and over. That's usually what I do to gather more accounts. What you're trying to find is mostly uh, uh, logdown users. Well, just another account that maybe is the main admin. So this is it, guys. Uh, just a quick note. Uh, well, you cannot attack uh, something you don't have uh, the rights to. I mean, this video is meant to be for educational purpose only. That's why I use uh, GOAD, which is a self-hosted uh, home lab that is vulnerable. So you can well learn on your own pace as well with my guiding. Uh, but if you're interested into the cybersecurity field or something like that, there's a well an ethical hacking path. You can also check about bug bounties. That's companies that uh, allow you to try to hack them and report developers, and you can get money for doing so. But honestly, don't do something stupid. I mean, attack somebody or someone or a company without their permission. Uh, 